Hello everybody, welcome back. It's me, your old pal Orpheus, here on another edition of Orpheus Plays. But we're not doing the uh, regular Orpheus Plays. This is in the Blade and Sorcery home environment. But this is another one of my mental health playlist uh, <laughs> content or videos. Um, this is one of the ones where I kind of discuss some mental challenge, mental health challenges and uh, everyday issues that maybe you have. Maybe you have someone that's a friend that has these kind of issues. Uh, I know I have these, which is kind of why I like to discuss them. Now, before we start, if you're not in the right kind of headspace for this or you don't really need something that's... It's not going to be a serious episode. It's more of a discussion. Uh, we'll get to it in just a second. It's not going to be all downturn. And, 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 you know, uh. but uh, if you're not into that kind of thing today or you want a little bit more action, go ahead and tune into um, my different playlists. I do play Red Dead Online and some other games, but of course I also play Blade and Sorcery. There's an entire couple of playlists, one where I don't have any talking and one where I do. I tell some silly stories and do a little bit of face wrecking. So if that's uh, your thing, uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Now, if you're sticking with us, um, let me preface this whole part by saying that I am not a licensed therapist. I'm not someone who's got any kind of degree in therapy. I don't have any certifications or documentation that says that I am in any way authorized to give any kind of medical or psychological advice. With that being said, though, I am someone who suffers from a lot of different conditions every single day. And because of that, I just like to share some experiences and some thoughts that might help you to either see things a little bit different or to maybe get a brighter aspect on life or just get some education in general on what some people around you might be suffering from or might be challenged by in their everyday lives. Okay, so I want to talk about healing. But more specifically, I'd like to talk about a concept that comes with healing that you hear from a lot of people, okay? And it's the concept of rock bottom. Now, rock bottom is this concept where you need to hit the absolute lowest point in your life before you can get any better, okay? So that means that you have to be to a point where, let's say you're addicted to drugs or something. You have to, you have to lose your car. You have to lose your house. You have to lose your partner. You have to lose your, your job. You have to lose your finances. You get arrested and spend some time in jail. And you're, you go home after jail and there's an intervention. And all your friends and family are sitting around in your living room. And they've all got these little sheets of paper that say, you know, now I'm going to read why your, your addiction or your choices are hurting the rest of us. And that's your rock bottom. And that means da, 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 you can start to rise, right? You can start to heal. You can start to get better. But what I think is the issue with this concept, you're allowing yourself to acknowledge that there is a point in your life that can't get any worse. And believe me, things can always get worse. It's like in the movies and TV where they say, well, you know, can't get any worse. And then it gets much worse, right? Rock bottom is this concept, though, where do you really need to bounce off of the worst experiences in your life in order to make the decision that now it's time? It's t enough of this nonsense. You know, it's time for me to, to get on with things and maybe I shouldn't be such a schmuck anymore, right? I don't think that's how it goes. I don't think that you need to hit rock bottom in order to start healing. Okay, each of us has the ability to make a choice, and I've discussed this in some other mental health playlists uh, videos. Each of us can decide every single morning what kind of day we're going to have, and it's not that cliche. Oh, the first day is the you know today is the first day of the rest of your life, or oh my gosh, you can be happy if you choose to, or what they told us in the Navy. <laughs> I was in the separation barracks. Uh, whole other story coming with that one. Uh, I got a mental health discharge. <laughs> Surprise! But um, 
it's very depressing to sit in that separation barracks because you know that you're going home and you know it's for a reason that makes it so you're not eligible to be in the armed forces anymore. And so you're depressed. Not only that, you have to go through every single day doing every single thing that they do in boot camp. You have to do drills. You have to do PT, which is physical. Uh, you have to do uh, exercises. Um, you have to go on marches and, and do uh, formations and all that stuff. And then they just send you home, right? So the psychiatrists on base would come in and they'd go, well, you know, the situation sucks, but you're only framing it like that in your head. Eh, you know, I... <laughs> it's like being stranded on an island and you're just like, well, you're only depressed because you're telling yourself you're depressed. It's like, oh, okay, I mean, <laughs> right? It's more complicated than that. Well, you, oh, today I'm going to wake up and, and everything's going to be great. No, but you do have the ability to say, you know what? I, I don't have to let these things affect me like they always do. I don't have to go out there and go, well, my life already kind of sucks right now, but I have to reach a worse point in my life before I can, I can rise up and decide to be different and decide to be a better person. So do you need to hit that rock bottom in order to get better? Again, I don't think so. You know, if you're a person who's suffering right now from depression, anxiety, bipolar, uh, some sort of head injury like I've got, or maybe just the world seems like it's crushing in on you, there's always a way to get out of that pit before you hit what people say is rock bottom. You don't have to get arrested. You don't have to suffer the loss of family, friends, job, you know, dignity, money, everything that you have, why do you have to experience that level of trauma before you can get better? Can't you go out and reach out to some of your friends and say, hey, I'm not feeling so great. Can you guys, can we go out and go bowling or something, right? Just spend some mindless time doing something. You can d decide to help yourself. But other people need to be involved in that process. You can't do it alone, okay? No matter how strong you think you are, no matter how much you've been through in your life, and if you're someone who's been through a lot of abuse like I have, you might think that you're this independent person who's now suffered so much that you are, I don't need the world. I can do it on my own, right? That's not the case. Like the, the song a long time ago says, everybody needs somebody sometimes. You always have to be able to reach out. And if you're friends with someone that you notice is having these issues, take a step. Reach out. Say, hey, you want to go do something? Let's go see a movie. Let's go, let's go uh, do some gaming. You know, let's play Call of Duty or something. Come on, let's, let's go. It's the ability to not only realize that you need that help sometimes, but it's also the ability to recognize that other people need that help sometimes. Okay? Now, how can you change things? How can you feel better just going out there and like, I've decided to have a good day. What does that mean? Right? What, Orpheus, what is, how can I take steps to actually decide to do these things? Okay, make yourself one promise the next time you go out. Maybe it's today, later on. Maybe it's tomorrow or you don't have anything to do for a few days. The next time that you go out, just ask yourself, you know, give yourself the challenge of smile at basically everyone that you, you have some sort of interaction with. Just smile. Give them a little nod. Hey, how you doing? It's good to see you. You know, you're passing someone on the sidewalk or you bump into your neighbor on the way by. Smile. Say, hey, how you doing? Right? You'll pass on a little bit of that happiness to someone else. And you'll give yourself a little bit of happiness as it is because almost everybody, unless they're in a horrible mood or they're a bad person, will nod and smile back and say, hey, that's the kind of interaction that I think helps you from bouncing off of that rock bottom. Because a lot of the times what people say gets you to that point is you decided to go alone and make bad decisions or you decided to make bad decisions with a group of people. But a lot of it comes down to you made some mistakes in your life. You made some bad choices. But that doesn't mean that you have to bounce alone. That you have to smack off of rock bottom by yourself. 
it also doesn't mean that you need to smack off that rock bottom. You can decide. And you can reach out to other people. Whether it's in person, or whether it's in Discord, or whether it's on Reddit, or whether it's in, you know, the forums for a a game that you play, like World of Warcraft, or, you know, anything. Find someone to talk to. Find someone that can share a little bit of that pain with you. It's really helped me to be able to share some of this with you. And obviously over the years, I've told some people some of the harsh things that have happened. And believe me, that's what will work for you too. Share. Get some things off of your chest. Bring a little bit of happiness to the world. And maybe you'll bring a little bit of happiness to yourself. It all starts with small steps. And you don't have to get the worst that you've ever been in your life in order to get better and be the best that you've ever been in your life. That's been my little blurb about uh, rock bottom and why I don't think it's necessary as, as a step in your healing. Okay? I hope you do wonderful today. I hope you do wonderful tomorrow. And we'll see you next time here on Orpheus Plays. Remember... I care about you. Maybe not a lot of streamers will actually care about their viewers. I care about you. And that's the Orpheus difference. See you next time. Bye.